Okay, next episode. Last episode, Jill had a mental breakdown. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, sadly, there's no scene with Dorothy. I, I, I actually can't really be upset about that because I really like the scene with Donna and everything. I like those kind of st stuff. When did I pay the electricity bill? I can't remember. Whatever. I think it's the 24th. Today it's the 23rd. Alright. Kid the evening. Hey. How are you feeling? Wilm are soft and warm. Come again? You heard me. <laughs> so on a scale of steaming pile of shit to just sad. Where are you? A sad pile of shit. I still hate myself. I'm still sad as hell. But how do I put it? The noise stopped. I don't know if I explain myself. Kinda. I get it. So, how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, I feel like Dorothy probably would have done it even if you didn't pay him. If you want to call it that payment, I guess. Huh? I got Dorothy to tell her what, sh uh, what had happened to you, and she was a little really concerned. Uh, she started for a second saying that she had the whole night to go, and she couldn't let just, just leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said, enough to pay for this soda I'm having. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, how'd you get her number? I have contacts. <laughs> Right. <laughs> anyway, Jill, if you need a second break, a drink, or a hug, just let me know. Thanks. Don is cool. <laughs> uh, I'm making the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs are for me are the last thing that you want. If you need a bartender, let me know, though. Nice to know. Anyway, we have work to do. I'm gonna change the music this time because I'm getting kind of tired of all the music. <laughs> the same music over and over again. Uh, yeah, just just leave. It there. Why aren't you moving? Well, whatever. I'll just... We probably got more music, I just don't know. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Let's do this, Jill. It's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? <laughs> I was like, a, they just fade away. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, who's this? Hey, be receptive. I brought my boss here. Aren't you a part-timer here or something? My other boss. Uh, you're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. Shit. <laughs> so what brings you here today? I want to see the place where my best soldier is working at. Soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Donna. A soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Donna? No, that's not Donna, that's just Jay. So I'm guessing you're part of the whole Kyra thing. Part of it, I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Uh, here we can take in any dog without a place in this world. We create our own heaven on earth. Do you take corgis only? Well, yeah, the Shibas, I don't know. Do I look like one of those sci-fi bitches? Of course not. Um, I include other animals, but sadly I can uh, only take care of those who are, are the same species as I. Sad thing is, um, I take him more seriously, but I'm talking to a corgi with an eye patch. Isn't out of Shiba? Because this guy's a Shiba. Well, I get, we get anything. I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? <laughs> Alright. Managing for the dog. Maybe I should just give him something bitter. Nah. Uh, let's do a gut punch. This one's easy. Uh. Let's see. Here. Yes, this is just what I, want, what I wanted. A hiccup. Tastes worse than my own butt. Hey, you asked for it. It's a really nice place, you know? It's a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks. Does he really get paid? Your efforts to keep Kyra afloat will not go to waste. It will make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can boss really afford that? That's a good question. <laughs> Why hire a part-timer when you're about to close? And it wasn't like you needed one, really. Hmm. We have more urgent matters at hand, though, like the fact we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't we just share the ones we have? You fool, every dog has a right to have his own ball. If we can't uh, provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Oh, wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and spend all her money like water. I mean, what's with the bar closing and all of that? But well, somebody enjoyed the boxes more than they do balls. That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? Are there boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think the shit boxes tied together? Tied together, don't be silly. Unless she's paying him straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. <laughs> Jill just has important things to just think about in this, whatever this is. 
the order is filled with all sorts of uh, recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors, boxes come in boxes, bottles come in bottles. Ooh, and I expect it from you, boss. Wait, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying him with money. For all I know, she may be paying him with stakes. So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes sir. Expect that, uh, accept that to boss, a good stake is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? Uh, what is that word? Russin, Russ, Russin Strauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil a piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right, we need a contingency plan. Besides, boss does not want to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we can strive to make a deal with that vet those sci-fi bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute, too. Uh, so it's better that we vet <laughs> that we vet for a vet. Uh, yes, put that on the to-do list. Ah, Nacho. Oh yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying here for a while? I was just passing by. I've got some errands to run. Great, Gil can go with you. Why? I can? You will. I'll, st I'll still get paid for today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. Alright, Greenhorn, let's get going. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm paying him anyways, by the way. Just wanted to mess around with him. Oh. Oh, but Gil, I thought you were talking about the dog. I was like, how do you know we read our mind? No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? Gil looked like he wanted to take a good break, so he kind of just said things like that. And with Nacho, he had something to do. Uh, and be away for, for a bar for a bit. When you put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her, too. Yeah. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just going to go sit over there and go on standby. Wait, where's, what do you do? You don't do anything. Shit, I missed the chance to ask him how he gets paid with money. Uh, man, I sure need to get wasted. Uh, oh, it's betting deal again. Uh, I feel to see how getting wasted will make you uh, feel... Sheba! <laughs> For fuck's sake, you piece of crap. We're just going to be building full dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Yeah, because it's rad. Hey, the robot. And he talks. Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Give me a beer. Gotcha. Does Dio want anything? <laughs> so cute. He's fine. Just a beer, then. Friday after work isn't just a beer, though. It's the beer. Can't argue with that. Beer for Betty. I can make it big for the heck of it. Yeah, let's do it. Or... I like this song that's playing. Here. Let's make a special. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, Jill. Do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. I, uh, I made this friend back in high school who had some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contact with them if you're interested. No thanks. The last thing I need right now is some more crap taking up space. <laughs> so how are things up at Dogtown? Well, the ore girl is starting things up for better or for worse. For worse. She's, um, like a rabbit. An overly politically correct rabbit. What does that mean? Never had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess. They get started over the littlest of things. And this girl is on the constant lookout. Oh, jeez, this sounds loud. <laughs> uh, turn it down a little bit. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. And this girl is on the constant lookout, scared of some, uh, saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be with the person she's... It doesn't have to be with the people she's speaking with, even. It's no problem in the company, but the other day, we went out together and holy shit. <laughs> Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence just to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anybody. But seriously, she tries way too hard. You don't, you don't help either. Hmm. Email. You're gonna you. What did she say whenever she's within earshot distance? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's just that she looks so cute when she's startled, like a rabbit. I raise up the question of whether she's really like that, or if you're the one making her wary of everything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? <laughs> To test if she's if uh really if it's really me who makes her like that. Uh it's not like you can say no, you know. I mean it's my honor that's on the line here. <laughs> I wanna prove you're only talking shit that prove you're only talking shit about me. <laughs> Even if you're right, you have to do quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually rejects when I tease her. Uh you take it in stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and even gets uncomfortable. <laughs> how is that any good? She's cute and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Uh, I must save my teasing for when the moment is just right then. No, that's not the problem. It is for me. <laughs> and what are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, what his said his name was... Say, this is Oracle. Do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. Uh, what kind of girl is she aside from the whole political correct rabbit thing? Slow. 
she's the kind that does nothing the thing so carefully that uh she does seem really really slow uh, really really slow <laughs> can't deny that when she's actually finished this stuff she does a great job but it's unnerving she doesn't actually have to be with us at the building though she's more like a freelancer why is she there then she likes dogs and that's why i insist that you two would make a fine couple that's a really superficial statement <laughs> uh it's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women Okay, bad example. May I say something? By all means. If that really girl really is as blatant and claims to be, why shouldn't she better off with a more um, a more assertive person? Willem. Uh, a more assertive partner. You piece of scrap, she's totally calling you a pussy. <laughs> she kind of are. She's right, though. So sharing interest in being a better are, are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. <laughs> Uh, whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. Who knows, maybe we'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility too. Oh god. Uh, still, why are you so insistent on me getting on her good again there? Because she's like a cute rabbit. Or <laughs> someone might try to eat her out there. Uh, it'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. You really like her. <laughs> so I'm sure your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. I want to see if she likes you, and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? Make you sound like some skirt chaser. She's not into girls. How'd you find out? I asked her directly. Of course you did. <laughs> she seemed uh, giddy afterwards. I heard her muttering something about me and her first lesbian. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> okay, enough Laura for tonight. That's it. That refrain from using any. That's what he said last night. Jokes or variations thereof, please. Party pooper. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. A uh, bloom light. Bloom light fringe weaver. Okay, so I messed it up this time. Last time, we're like, even though I made the right thing, it still count counted it as like wrong. I think it did at least. So, it was that was when um, Jamie and Dorothy were with us. We might slot two. One fringe weaver. Fringe weaver. Oh okay, gosh, wanted this again. I should remember at least this. It's so easy. Uh, I'm probably gonna forget the, that. So, all right. Let's see if this works. I wonder why it's called a bloom light. It seems it was first developed as some video game event. Huh? Peter said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Said the attendees uh, were were of course part of some big game company. It seems that company always used too much bloom lighting, so the bartender there literally made a drink on all the bloom. That's kind of funny, actually. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark. Not this one, no. Come to the same again. Did you ever change because of the relationship, Jill? Oh, oh, stop. Don't ask Jill about that. No. Jill, no. In more ways than one, I guess. What would you say for better or for worse? I guess for the better. I'm too thick headed to develop any new bad habits. Although, thanks to my first boyfriend, I didn't pick up a very annoying habit of cricket. She was a grammar on the fly. Oh, and Jill's bi, apparently. Uh, pretty annoying when I think back to it. So, were you one of those kinds of people? <laughs> As for me, sometimes I think I would become, er, what's the word? Skinical Jade Bitter, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, tired of this crap world and everybody it throws on a daily basis. Hey, I'm just quoting you. <laughs> but hey, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How is that bad? I go to protests, we start all kinds of movements to see things change. I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that, that not everyone is willing to go that far. I find out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad. Oof. Rough. <laughs> uh, but not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were campaign campaigning. Championing? I don't know what that word was. So I moved from group to group only to find people who were in it because of who were in it because of a fad. And when they were uh, not in it because of a passing fad, they were the dangerous extremist kind. My tolerance for people's shit is greatly diminished after all of that. So it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship, but rather other people. Uh, do you see, see? Never thought about it that way. Uh, <laughs> you stop putting the blame on for what you do in past relationship. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, the one that we're here. That's if the nice vet lady came to work with the Cypher toy company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? You guys work for it, but I forget what you do. Work for that the toy company, but I just forget what they actual like jobs are uh the pay from the dogs isn't enough to keep them from mounting debts i didn't know how you do it try to believe dogs pay you at all 
But this is coming from someone who's working with that pays a dog for doing fuck all. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Or at least I think we're paying him. I'm not completely certain what, what we do. Uh, will you get anything else? Well, we're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I mean really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand to hear another had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Let's go with him. Bye. Uh, <laughs> you'll be a party pooper. You'll be a party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. Alright. Oh boy. Donna really looks like a guy in this uh, picture. Uh, did that not save? Excuse me? Oh my god. Ah. Damn it. I guess I accidentally clicked load instead of save. Ah. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to edit. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Ah, shit. I don't want to just 16 minutes. Uh, oh, it's fucking big. I don't want to. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, I'll, I'll do this. Um, I, I guess I'll still talk and stuff, but if you just want to skip to um, when I catch back up, uh, there's, I'll leave a timestamp if I can figure how to do that. <laughs> oh, if I can't figure it out, I'll just Google it. Because I'm sorry. I need to save more often. Uh, I need to learn how to. Blue mice, alright. I need to learn how to <coughs> edit. One, two, three, four. Four, one, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, rock, smash, bam. How do I fuck it up? It's both. I'm not having a good time. Uh, can I just make it big and you two share it? S saving time. <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. Um, yeah, this, oh my fucking god, what I do? Then I had to find your item rushing it. This is one, this is one of the day that we're having a bad time, so. I don't want to mess it up either. Um, yeah, this happened before, where, um, it was when I was going to start, it was before I started a new episode when I came back from recording like doing a starting a new recording session i forget what episode what between episodes it was but um hey kim uh you're the last one of this at this part right um but yeah i forgot to save because uh it doesn't save automatically you have to save manually when during the breaks it's nice because you have the whole uh have actually all have the entire prompt to save but during um uh b -b 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 during the between days at Jill's house you uh have to go in and save by yourself. I really just give her a fucking big beer. Two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four. Almost cooked that. What did I mess up? <laughs> the fucking flange raid. I swear I mess up the flange raid way more than anything else. I don't know why. I fucking always mess this shit up. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. 
Oi. I just messed up the plane train again. Yes. Four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. So yeah, this episode is gonna be long. Uh. I mean. Oh yeah, this is where you can literally just give her anything. Just give her the rum. Uh, okay, I was wondering if she got any extra dialogue from it being a rum, because since it's since it's like a special kind of thing. Oh, I accidentally clicked up something, opened something in the background. I'm t I'm, hi, Dorothy, I love you, but I'm going to have to skip you. I'm sorry. <sighs> Pain, suffering, agony. <laughs> Uh, I'll save here just in case I don't. Can, is there not? Do I have to open my phone. Yeah, save. Save. Bam. Um. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna just gonna be a long episode. Yep, side pal. Shit. Me too. Me too, Jill. I don't have time for the music. <laughs> Can I hear the same shit? Sup, dogs? Uh, you can hear it clicking, I remember. Because you can hear it in Yakuza. Two, three, four, five, one, five, dream. Age, max, spam, bam. Because you can hear the clicking in Yakuza because I just <laughs> spam it. <laughs> So you can definitely hear it now, because I'm hating it. But yeah, this is when Jill was questioning a whole lot of shit, honestly. Gonna have to talk to Betty and... I always forget that other guy's name. He has a weird name, I can't... Deal, yeah. He just want a beer, right? Yeah. I'll give her a big beer because I'm nice. Even though it's time consuming, I feel bad. Don't mess it up this time, it's a solid four. What did I mix up? <laughs> Fucking character mean. I'm so pissed off. Five, six, seven, eight. Damn. <sighs> High deal. I'm talking about Laura, what was her name? Lauren, Laura, Rabbit, Girl. Oh, she, she Alice Rabbit. <laughs> That'd be funny. Power of Love, yep. Yep, meet first lesbian. Bloom white lever. One, two, three, four, one. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. Speed run. Fucking kills man. With the drugs or the alcohol. Did I just mix up the recording? Okay, because because I'm clicking so fast, I clicked outside my window onto um. Uh, this is Santa age mix, right? Onto OBS. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't mess something up. It looks fine, I think. Oh boy. Yep, cynical bitch. Got it. Activism. Uh, talking with the dog again. Bye, bye. Love you. Ah, ah. <sighs> Safe. Uh, I need. I should probably click on that again. Damn right, it's safe to keep playing. All right. So if you just did the whole skip thing, welcome back.
you, you just missed me suffering and messing everything up. <sighs> no dogs in sight. I can change the music again. Uh, let's go. No. Uh, I'm freaking messed that up too. Ah, back to serving drinks and changing lives. Let's go, chill. I guess I'll just go till the end of the day. Welcome to Oh, hey, the other. Oh, hey, Alma. You okay? She seems down. Maybe there's something. Give her to cheer up. She might like class drinks. But what she, she might like class drinks, but what she really likes, I don't know. She want a girly drink? I don't know what she likes. I'm sorry. She doesn't really have a usual. I don't remember her having like a usual. Hey, um, and this. It's on me to drink, so at least you can change your expression. Why not just say you're worried about me? Get the message anyway, didn't you? <laughs> so, how is it? A Brantini, so you do pay attention to what I asked for. Apparently, okay. You have quite the fixation with Brantinis. To be honest, they suit you. Hey, wanna hear a silly story? Always. When I turned 21, my dad and I went to a party to celebrate. Just him and I. He told me to dress well enough that he, uh, he looked like my sugar daddy. That's that's strange. It was a fun night. We pretended... Uh, we pretended at times we were dating. I managed to blow off some steam about my mom. But the highlight was him ordering a brandini for me. I've had plenty of drinks and gotten whisked many times since I was 15. That's... Alright, that's not good. That's not good, Alma. <laughs> but that drink was different. It wasn't getting... Uh, it wasn't getting drunk. The drink itself was the pleasure. Uh, he said, uh, he said this, they, he too said they suited me somehow. Oh, ever since the day he's called me Brantini Curl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a cool dude. You should meet him sometime. So why are you deflating? Deflating? Oh, uh, when I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, when I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. <laughs> so what is it? Was it news about some people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to I wanna ruin it by blowing off all my steam stored steam. So, Yama, I've been feeling like utter shit for the last couple of days. You can't make me feel any worse. Come at me. So go ahead, underline all your words me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do you remember my sister Diana? Uh, the one that got separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary. I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story then. More specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. Oh, however, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects the guy to do it all for her. I have no idea why uh, she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. Uh, they even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, what does this... A uh, fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later. Why well, bring an abusive husband back, of course? What? <laughs> yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving again. And he had a nice couple of hot, steamy nights and then left. I, uh, well, uh, you're acting like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. <laughs> uh, so she's broken, can't even get enough for a bus, uh, even though she'd probably get, be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it was up to me to pick her up for the last couple days she left her kids with my parents me and such sweet angels they made a mess out of the whole place uh bernardo and evil were actually staying with me a couple of days to give give them some peace it doesn't help that i never got along with diana so we're in the car and she asks how her kids are and of course after all the built-up tension i just exploded first i started ranting about how her kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff I started scolding her about not taking responsibility and not taking proper care of her children i tell her that she's in no place to have all these ex ex escapades after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Yeah, you slay. <laughs> Stank. 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 <laughs> I don't have kids, uh, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have uh, kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first uh, in the first bare room familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids. I pretty much have raised Eve and Bernando, and they turned out pretty damn well. Oh, what's this? I don't have kids, but I'm not a cheap whore. Oh, damn. I don't know what to say. That was weird. There's nothing to say. I open my family and I'll put above them, above, uh, I'll put them above all else. 
But Dana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help. You just did. Eh? Uh, I know... I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell, though, and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. Uh, I just need to get all this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. No, no, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. <laughs> is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. Okay, then. <laughs> Kidding? I guess the only, uh, the only one that didn't get the big boobs gene was Eva. Uh, she insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I can tell she's fine the way she is. Since she, how old is she? You just mentioned she was a kid. Uh, there actually be a, more of a hassle than a blessing. Uh, and poor Bernardo, his breast actually started growing when he was eight. What? I just hope I don't take too much from my family, this side of the family. My father's sister still look quite young. When the menopause hit, my mom lost all her looks rather quickly. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had any problems with that. Oh, I see. Hey, you know uh, what worries me about the most about the whole Dana situation? How your nephews are turning out? Uh, if she was with my mom, they'll turn out better than her somehow. Actually, that worries me is, what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst with that I want to live my life and end up like that? What if kind of... Uh, what if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all of that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is an indication that you'll be fine enough. You think? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're, you're alright. Uh, you said before that she has pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who want to even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your irrational standards. <laughs> hey, am I lying? No, but there are things that are kept unspoken truths. I don't know if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. You know him when the time comes. I sure hope so. You can do it, Alma. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Um, maybe something with ice, but alcoholic. Right. Cold and with alcohol. This is... Yeah, this on the rocks and has... Yeah. Uh... Uh... Rocks. Here you go. Uh, thanks. I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. Uh, so you said that you felt shitty the last couple of days. Why? No, Jill. Don't think about it too much. <laughs> oh, come on. You heard my problems. I want to help you too. Don't worry about it too much. Right, I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? Uh, my boss is throwing a mega Christmas party someday. You want to come? Uh, sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess at my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Um, to be honest, I want to know. You can bring it if you want. I want to go to waste. Gotcha. Uh, hey, say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? Yeah, legs. Legs are superior. Really? I like breasts better. Breasts is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs are better I just don't like with the white meat. Dark meat is, I think it's like is better. Maybe, but simple is usually, usually better. Breasts is easier to enjoy the legs, and a lot less messy. Hmm, you silly girls. <laughs> Boss. Uh, you're over there talking about legs, whenever you know the best part of the wings. Boss, what's what? Spicy chicken wings. Where did you get the spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken? You know, spicy chicken the shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken? Oh, she's not carrying. Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Well, because I thought as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. You know what I said. <laughs> Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up. Uh, but it'd be cooked otherwise. Great, I expect you here Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. <laughs> she left the bucket. <laughs> Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. <laughs> Weird. Maybe she got mixed up order and that's why she left them here. She usually orders Shauner stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch from just being, being near them. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be decent enough. Decent, though. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. That's no good. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Uh. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and wear coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscles are always fine too, but sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet you're still single. <laughs> That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy chicken would just turned out to be spicy. <laughs> what can I get you? Anything as long as it helps me get the spiciness out of my mouth. Okay. Uh... Beer is just what I always just my go to. Alright, 
Here you go. Damn. <laughs> no more smites, but I have another, other problems now. Alright, so next question. What kind of girl do you like? Look at her face. Uh, you first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but nope, I prefer men. Now you. Shit, just calm down. I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Light colored hair? Uh, yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white, like your boss? Uh, you were just saying that to me with a comment, aren't you? Sorry, it's just that when you got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Your whole behavior transformed, you became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Yeah, Donna's fucking awesome. I like her. Hey, I can't blame you, she's pretty nice. Yeah, I just like teasing you. So, light colored hair. What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment. I wouldn't ever let you go. Okay then, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me uh, why you're feeling shitty these last days? What? Uh, that? I told you not to think about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Joe. You've heard my problems so many times and I want to help you. Oh boy. Come here. Come here. Hey. I told you to sit here. Come on. What? Oh wow. They got another proper look at Jill. That's cool. Alright, now I'm the bartender in here. Oh, are we playing as Alma right now? Hardly. The bartender station only works with me. I see. Oh. Okay, I move here, click here, and... Now it works for you, for me, and the dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Why with him, too? <laughs> He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Right, and how did you even manage to? Oh yeah, hacker, right? Now we've changed roles. We've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? It's a long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Alright, let's talk to Jill. Okay, then. It's something that goes back to my college years. Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in uh, compulsory education, I never mind too m made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to get al always get perfect grades. And then, of course, when I started to get college, shit started getting hard. I had this per perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. I bring in my eyelashes, studying, and I eventually managed to keep up good grades. About half of their career, I uh, met a, s a student teacher. Her name was Lauren. Uh, Oh, she was a student teacher. She helped me with a lot of my studies. She even gave me the stuff that even gave me more credits. I really liked her, and after some time, I, find, I found out she liked me too. Ooh. <laughs> started going out. I met all of her family, even, and you want a drink. What? I drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to your client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. A sugar rush, then. You can't mess that up. Right. She'll ask for a sugar rush now. How does this thing work? This is cool. Oh. Oh, why why did I even do that? You don't have to, there's nothing. Here. Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. Uh I have this gut feeling that with your body you'd make a better bartender than me. She was like saying that she's flat, but she really isn't. She's cute, I like her. She's gonna too short, you're cute. Yeah, bam. People don't go to bars for cuteness though. You've obviously never been to a cat bar then. Besides, my boob's gonna be a hassle when trying to move stuff around, so I'll keep telling the story. Fine. Well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half, it became nothing but study sessions after study session, investigations, my thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech, and suddenly, while reading said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking. Um, I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember all I did, everything fun and all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't even enjoy doing all that, so I just stayed in there and sat at from where I graduated was minimal. I realized I would only gone through the motions day after day from high school to graduation. Uh, I feel like a uh, whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at, some point, but at that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was like... It was all terrifying as hell. Uh, I need all my strength to not start running like a panicked mess. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, so a couple of months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Uh, Leonora was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. But I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. If I had a sudden realization that one I had... I, like the one I had at graduation, but when I turned 40. I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Larian that she f I told Larian that, and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things devolved pretty quickly, and 
She said one too many things, I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke a vase in the process. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry, I suddenly feel bad for pushing you, tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty though, but all this after all this time though, unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. <laughs> um the other day when her sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently Lerna died last week. Uh localized Anna when she in rejection, a heart attack. Apparently she had ha had it for a long time but never told anyone. And coincidentally it got worse after I left. I just can't stop thinking about it, wondering if, uh, if me being there would have made a difference. If it's true that she had a long time, why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like like all kinds of failure. So, to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. I guess she was blaming you for her sister's death and all, but it's just a kid, for fuck's sake. She lost the sister, she pretty much raised her on her own. On top of all that, I suddenly can't remember what's stopping me from apologizing. Pride, fear, stupid effect, stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I love for a thing to pass. Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. For Jesus Christ, Jill. I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect this story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Yes. Can you give me a big beer then? Alright. Why is a big beer in this thing? Uh... Oh, I got. I saw that. Five, six, seven, eight. Bam! One more. Big beer for Jill. Thanks. Why is she smiling? This is like the first time I think I've seen Jill smile. I need to remember to take care of cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BTC issued liver implant is that I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Huh? Ooh. Uh, hey Jill, what kind of girl was wearing her? Lenore, I keep seeing her name run. Well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stress was my default state. Uh, so, just like you're behaving right now, shut up, I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't, it's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there, finding a way to cool me down. She was also able to hold conversations with that, about pretty much any topic. Well, uh, one time I saw her, uh, saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. All of that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. Uh, she always pushed me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Uh, Lenore would always present me as to many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so sad. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but she was such an awesome person, I just want to apologize. And now, well, you know, the cruel twist of irony, she's the one that made me pick up bartending. Oh. Back when I was thinking about what the hell to do with my wife, I remember a night we spent in a club. We started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions, and all of that. Everything sounded so fan uh, so fascinating, and I remember saying that her her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said, if, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Interesting. <laughs> Are you okay? For some <laughs> values, okay, yeah. It's just, I wanted to thank you, Alma. Thank me. I guess I needed someone to tell you all the, uh, I just needed someone to tell all this to, and you were the one. You volunteered yourself, you insisted on listening to me. You stood there, listened to the whole thing from beginning to end. Uh, I know I might not be the most expressive person, but I'm not the one to spout love and fluffiness, but I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client, <laughs> but I really appreciate your friendship, or at the very least, your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. Yay. <laughs> Jill, are you dying? <laughs> Shut up, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to have a... What, I'm trying to have a heart attack? I'm trying to heart to heart. Are, why did I read heart attack? Because, is it because Lauren died from a heart attack that I just think heart attack? I also like this face. Sorry, sorry, it's just, it's weird for you to get so sappy. Well, I just realized that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. It hurts like fucking hell, you know? I never, I mean, never want to feel that way ever again. I don't know what someone that's something except my life and how the last marriage involved something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned uh, a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost, but if it meant breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. And if I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage, and I can and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. Hate it, hate it. <laughs> that's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know? Fine. Yay, Jill. 
Uh, it's almost closing time anyway. It was fun while it lasted though. Hey, yeah, I mean, you know, thanks for everything today. Silly Jill, you listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'm leaving now. Oh, before I forget, do you ever talk about this to your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Leonard's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly to your parents. They love to share your problems. You should try having a talk like this one sometimes. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday. Take care. Hi, Donna. The Alma grocery is nice. Hey, boss, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk at the very least. Expression changed a lot already. It did. You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter jail tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah, boss, about this chicken wins. Fucking idiots of the spicy chicken. <laughs> Sorry, Donna, we don't have enough spice for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how they treat their regulars to call the manager? <laughs> uh. Cherish titty hacker. <laughs> She's a good friend. <laughs> uh. That was nice. That was sweet. Power didn't get cut. This gives her peace of mind. Now she'll just focus at work. Alright. I have money again. Bill paid. Don't, didn't you have a boyfriend named Bill? Did I? I don't know. Uh, sorry this episode was so long. I made a mistake, so. But that was that was really sweet at the end. I'm happy for. I'm happy that Jill is doing better. I like Jill. I like all the characters. Well, I mentioned before I like all the characters, not all of them. Um, but yeah, I I love Jill. She's great. Um, my throat still feeling okay. It's starting to hurt a bit, but I can definitely do one more, one or two more. Uh, I forget how many I've done today, but gotta keep going. Um, also, you know, Mega Christmas is coming, so uh, it's, it's gonna be sad. So it's gonna be, I guess, tomorrow because I think this is. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be the morning or night. Uh, I'll check the phone first. Let's see what's going on in the world. Uh, the wrestling here. I've become a huge fan of. Uh, GCF very recently is a recently solid product, in my opinion. Much better than the E. <laughs> I like the match quality, but I wish they'd get more prints to the mid car. I still force the 66 American kid into the main event. Yep, he's going to face uh, music at the Dome show. Why don't they push the great DK and said he's much more talented? Uh, indie darling. <laughs> I, I can tell that this person knows wrestling. Fucking indie darling. Yeah, whoever made this knows wrestling. <laughs> Oh yeah, what was this about? Looks like we're able to record, uh, record and transcribe one message sent from when the conversation. Draw in the anchor from our own discuss. Light noise, who are you? Are you really alive? You're special to me. You're everything to me. It's time to become one. Ooh. Interesting. Alright. I don't know how long this one because I just turned off my timer. We could just get to the end of the day. Because I knew the timer is all broken anyway. Messed up. But, alright. See you next episode.